gangsters in my family tree. You know it ain't no hoe with me. Been thugging all my life. I just thank God that I survived the street. Be careful how you stuck to me. Glock 23, all 33. I'm gonna my tail for now, nigga. Bet I go out like a G. I some gangsters in my family tree. They gave me game up in these streets. Disrespect my name for some fame. You gon' be hunting me. Okay. Hey, it's your boy Cartier Carlo. Yes, sir. Y'all see me, man. 3116 on the shirt, man. If you know, you know. And uh, hope y'all mess with the intro, man. You know, try to whip something together real quick, man. You know, put something together so I can uh, take this YouTube thing a little bit more serious, man. And uh, with that being said, I'm standing on that. You feel me? So I'm going to do something totally different. You know, this video. Um... First, before I even get to what I'm finna get to, let me show y'all something right quick, man. Uh, show y'all something for all you people. Yeah, we on point this time. We on point this time. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this time, man, uh, since the pre the last video, I did a little upgrade on the uh, Glock 26. You know, uh, I had when they put the uh, high sights on there. You know, um, put the high sights on there. And, you know, I think they, these the glow-in-the-dark ones. Put it over here, my bad. I'm still trying to get my camera right, y'all. You know, I ain't got no camera doing this from the iPhone. But, yeah, man, I got some uh, glow-in-the-dark night uh, sights, you know, high sights. Um, but, yeah, that's one little upgrade that I did to the uh, Glock 26 since the last time I had posted a video online. And uh, I'm finna update. You know, keep upgrading this mug as much as I can, man. Put a trigger on there and extended slide release and extended mag release, all that little thing, all the stuff like that. So, but anyways, man, I'm trying to make this video fast. So today, I just got something that came in the mail, man, that I ordered for the Glock 26, man. You know what I'm saying? And what it is, we just now opening it. So let's see what we got going on here right quick, Chief. What we got in here? Okay. I got me a, uh, I got me a, what this, Recovery Tactical. Well, yeah, that's from the company I bought it from. I got a, uh, Glock 26 rail adapter for the, uh, for the light, you know, and I got it. I guess it's from Tactical Recovery or Recovery, Recover Tactical or whatever. You know, I'll pay $27.50 for it and, Plus the shipping was $4.95 and the total of $32.45. Your boy got the real. And it took about four days. So what we got here. It's a little damaged, man, and open and stuff. Hope everything is in there. I'm trying to unbox it too. Hopefully this is not gonna be an embarrassing thing. But from the looks of it, bruh, the box I dinged up a little bit, you know, came all the way from Florida, went to Tennessee, and came to me, so, I mean, that's what you expect, you know, that's what the gun would eventually look like, you know, the cover right here, so let's get down to the nitty gritty player, let's get down to the nitty gritty, what's all in here, box empty, all right, bro, mud look pretty, Cool, guess it got the little manual on there. Show you how to, uh, you know, put it on the gun. And I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna show y'all how to put that mug on there too, bruh. We gonna learn and see how easy this is together, fellas. You know what I'm saying? This the Cartier family pimping. You know, y'all rock with me, I rock with y'all, bruh. So if anybody that been thinking about getting one of these for their gun, y'all gonna see that that boy Cartier Carlo got one. And his gun looking nice, so y'all gonna want it. So the first thing I see, we got a little alley wrench. Is that what they call a little alley look? I don't know shit about tools, boy. I am not mechanical inclined. Even though I got on my mechanic man suit, you know that's for when I'm operating it. <laughs> yeah, man, it's that uh, yeah, I be feeling like plies when I put that thing on. Yeah. Them goons right in your bushes. Yeah, man. I used to mess with pliers back in the day before he started getting on his uh other, other stuff, but he's still my nigga, I know, you know, but he, he trying to go commercial, but yeah, man, all right, so, I know I be talking too much, man, but 
it just part of my personality. So yeah, from what it looked like, bro, I got a little um, little booklet. You know what I'm talking about? Hammy, hammy, it got a little booklet on that thing, hammy. Look at butter right there with his uh, yeah, vanilla, goddamn Eminem nugget head. <laughs> No, I'm just playing, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, they got little examples of, shoot, evidently they make them for all types of gun. I just glock. I just glock, man. You know, they got little stuff on there. I tell you where you can go follow them boys at on the Instagram, Facebook, Recovery Tact- Recover Tactical. Yeah, man. So, yeah. That's that. We came with the box as well. And this little paper right here showing you how to put this thing together. But, uh, shoot, I'm not a caveman. I'm pretty sure I can put this thing together without the manual thing. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can. Every, actually, I think I'm going to go on the bye-bye with this paper telling me. Yeah, man, I ain't want to take up too much time, man, dragging a video on, man. Like I said, I was from trying to turn down on making long videos and doing too much talking. So, anyways, I decided to speed up the video for you guys, man, so y'all can watch this thing comfortably. But, anyways, man, all I was doing was just explaining and showing to you guys, man. Uh, it didn't take a rocket scientist and then like that, man, to put this thing on there. Um, one of the main things that I wanted to let be known was... Man, the dang screws and the nuts are so goddamn tiny. Man, you know, make sure you keep them things in clear eyesight, man, and away from edges, man, because I messed around and lost, well, I thought I lost one of the uh, the nuts, but I really dropped it on the floor, and I was looking for it for a little hot minute, man, and I had to get thing redo the video. So make sure you keep them, them the, 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 your little nuts and your screws close by. You understand that? And then another note, man, uh, when you're putting this rail adapter on there, man, you want to put the screws in from the left side of the gun through the right. And then you want to put your little nuts going in. I mean, pause. That didn't sound right. God damn it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you want to put your little screw nut, man, through the right side. <laughs> it got that tighten that thing up, man, because for a minute, bro, I thought I was doing something wrong. But basically, I was just doing it the totally opposite way of what was intended for it to be. You feel where I'm coming from? But other than that, man, I got the job done, man. Like I said, bro, I didn't take a rocket scientist. I didn't take the world's strongest man to put this thing on there. So with that being said, bro, y'all just sit back, relax, keep keep kicking the player. And I'll get back at y'all, man, with the rest of the video. On care. So, we got it in there. Don't look too bad. Look pretty cool. You know? Hang down a lot, but look pretty cool, man. It wasn't that hard, you know? Had a little, few little things going on, but uh, it wasn't too bad at all. You know? Kind of cool. Kind of kind of cool. Like the little serrations on there. Kind of. You know, I always wish that they made 20 Glock 26. That uh, slide that in there just to see. Mm, oh yeah, that thing right, man. Oh yeah, that thing right, man. I always wish Glock 26 had um, came with the little light rails and all that stuff. Anyways, but uh, let's let's see and test out how this thing gonna work. Fit in there pretty cool, bro. We got that cool, bro. You know, this just gonna make me up, uh, go ahead and update and upgrade the uh, my light, you know, so I can have it kind of flush at least come down to about right there. But this shit bad ass, dog. This shit bad ass, man. This shit is bad ass, bro. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that, man. 
But yeah, bro, I'm digging this. I'm digging this little thing. I'm digging this, bro. Feel real cool. You know what I'm saying? It don't seem like it's going nowhere. It look pretty cool without the light. Uh, the next thing I'm going to try to see is with, uh, with it be able to fit in my holster. You know, without the light, you know, uh, hopefully this real thing can fit in the, uh, the holster and whatever, because if they don't, then I'm going to have to go with some other options, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to be trying to screw it and unscrew the whole thing and putting it back on there every time I want to walk out the crib or whatnot. But, uh, I mean, yeah, overall, bro, it didn't take too long to put it on there, man. I mean, you know, quick little $32 investment, you know, uh, I mean, I know I could have easily went and bought like a polymer 80 lower and, you know, I could possibly do that in the future with the way the, the prices is on that, I might as well go and get me another gun or just settle for this, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, with the high sights on there, I ain't looking my gun coming on through, bruh. Thing coming on too, man. Birthday coming up Friday as well. I might go and get me a uh, cool little trigger for it and probably get the trigger and the slide release or something like that. I might do that on my birthday or might even get a new gun, man. You know, you never know. But uh, other than that, y'all see that thing, man. That thing look real cool, bro. Don't don't hesitate to snatch you up one if you got you a Glock 26, bro. It'll help out, bro. If you want to put you a little light on there, you know. Look, in some sense, it look a little cheesy. I know some of you guys are picky, but like I said, man, as long as this mug gone, mm, when you do that, you ain't got no worries, bro. So, uh, with that being said, man, I'ma let y'all go and get back to y'all day. I'ma get back to my day, man, and I'll catch y'all on the next video.